Is it possible to build muscle without moving? Or more precisely, will static exercises build muscle and strength as effective as dynamic exercises? Well, let's take a look at the pros and cons of each type and find out how effective they really are. First you need to understand how these types work. While exercising, your muscles go through different types of contractions, which can be differentiated into two overarching categories. Static and Dynamic. Dynamic contractions consist of two individual types, concentric and eccentric. Concentric movement is when the muscle shortens while producing force, while eccentric movement is when the muscle lengthens while producing force. Static contractions, on the other hand, are producing force while you're not moving and the length of your muscles doesn't change. Now which one of these is better or superior? Well, it really depends on what you want to achieve and what your body currently needs. If your main goal is to learn a static calisthenic skill, you'll have to work with the static exercises to get the best results. Of course you can do it along with the dynamic version of the same move, but it is still recommended to focus more on the static version to improve the static strength for this particular move. On the other hand, if your main goal is to get better at a dynamic exercise, let's say pull-ups for example, you should mainly focus on doing repetitions instead of pull-up holds. However, you can also include static holds to work on specific parts of the pull-up or just to mix things up a bit. A good example would be Frenchy pull-ups, because here you add short holes at the hardest points of the pull-up to emphasize these parts a bit more. This mix between static and dynamic strength is especially helpful for sports that require both types, like climbing for example. Another benefit of static exercises is what they can provide for someone who has an injury where movement could be too painful. Since you're not lengthening or shortening a muscle, you can use statics to help contract the muscle while avoiding painful movements. When it comes to mobility, you can and should work with static and dynamic exercises, but depending on the goal, you can emphasize one of them more or less. For example, if you want to increase your overhead shoulder mobility to master a straight handstand, you can emphasize the hold at the end range a bit more, because this is the position you need to improve the most. On the other hand, if you're working on your spine mobility and stability as a whole, it is recommended to move through the complete range to make your spine mobile and stable in all positions instead of just pushing its range at the end point. Now if you want to improve your mobility or get better at calisthenics in general, you should take a look at our ultimate day-by-day -day workout guides. By joining our community with tens of thousands of satisfied users, you won't have to worry about structuring your training routine, because we will take care of all the important things to succeed. So just choose the right program for your level and individual needs and start progressing today. Ok, now it's time to talk about building muscle with statics. The real question is, are they as good as or even superior to dynamic movements? Well, this really depends on the exercise and intensity. Let me give you an example for that. If you compare a dynamic push-up to a push-up hold, the dynamic push-up offers a greater stimulus for hypertrophy because the muscles get stretched in every rep and you have to overcome gravity instead of just holding against it. However, it also depends on which point you add the static hold for the push-up. If you add the hold at the top, it's basically an active rest position for your chest, shoulders and triceps because there is very little force applied to those muscles. If you do the hold at the bottom, it's the opposite, because this is the point where the greatest force occurs for these muscles. Similar to the Frenchie pull-up, it is also possible to combine both types into your training routine. So you could do the following. Let yourself down for 2 seconds, hold the lowest position actively for 1 second and then push yourself up as fast as you can. Little fun fact for the regular push-up. It is actually a dynamic movement for your chest, shoulders and triceps, but also a static one for your abdominals, hip flexors and legs. So any dynamic exercise could be static at the same time, depending on the muscles you're referring to. Ok, now we're talking about building muscle with static calisthenic skills like levers, flex and planches. To cut it short, yes you can and will build muscle with these moves, as long as you set the muscle under tension with the right intensity. 
However, a dynamic version of these skills or dynamic exercises that mimic the same movement would still be a bit better for building muscle. Summarized, if you want to learn a front lever or planche and build some muscle along the way, you can absolutely accomplish that. It's only not the best tool for building as much muscle as possible if you got dynamic alternatives of the same movement. Okay, so what's the conclusion? Static and dynamic exercises have their pros and cons, so it's best to consider your fitness goals before deciding which to prioritize. Unless you have a health concern or a specific goal, we recommend using both to build a well-rounded training program that taps into the benefits of each. If we get black and white about it, dynamic exercises are usually a bit better for increasing strength and building muscle mass, while static exercises get the edge for specific things like improving weak points, recover from injuries or learning static skills. When it comes to building muscle, I personally like to mix all into my workouts to benefit from each one. Alright guys, if you're looking for a workout guide that puts these points into action, just head over to kellymove.com and get the best calisthenics workout programs on the net. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and activate the notifications.